here's another problem where we're going to do an ice chart. We have a balance reaction given to us. We have the Kc value. We start the reaction by putting one mole of diatomic iodine in a two liter flask and we want to figure out all of the equilibrium concentrations. So using our ice chart method we rewrite the reaction and down the side we fill in initial change equilibrium. This time we're using a Kc which tells us that we have to get the unit of molarity to plug into this ice chart. Molarity is moles divided by liters so one mole divided by two liters is a starting molarity of 0 0.5. That's the only thing we put into this flask. We didn't put any monatomic iodine in there. Therefore the starting amount of that is also 0. Because we have 0 product we know that the product side has to get bigger. That side has to be the plus. The reactant side can only decrease if the product side is increasing. The amount that they change, again, is based on the coefficients. Coefficient on the left-hand side is a 1, so we know we're going to lose x from the left, but on the right we're going to gain 2x. At equilibrium, you just add down the columns, 0.5 minus x for the reactant, and 0 plus 2x is just 2x for the product. Next, we're going to use the value of Kc, which was given as 3.76 times 10 to the negative fifth. And that equals the concentration of the product at equilibrium squared divided by the concentration of the reactant to the first. And if we substitute in from our ice chart, the concentration of the product is 2x, and that has to be squared. The concentration of the reactant is 0.5 minus x, and that's raised to the first. This equation in green is not a perfect square like we saw before, so we can't take the square root and make the math any easier. This is an example where we have to use the quadratic formula to solve this equation. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the fraction by cross multiplying both sides, and I can get rid of the fraction the parentheses on the right hand side by expanding out 2x quantity squared and rewriting that as 4x squared and I'm gonna bring the 0.5 minus x over to the left and then I have to distribute to get rid of the parentheses on the left And then to get this into the format of the quadratic formula, I want to bring all of this over to the same side with the x squared. So if I rewrite this, I'm going to have 0 equals 4x squared plus 3.76 times 10 to the negative fifth times x minus 1.88 times 10 to the negative fifth. So, now I have this in the correct format, I can use the quadratic formula where x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where my a, b, and c are those numbers. So if I make this substitution, 
I'm going to come up with two possible answers for x. If you plug in all of these values, one possibility for x is 2.16 times 10 to the negative third. The other one is negative 2.17 times 10 to the negative third. And if you do your ice charts correctly, remember x represents the increase, in this case, of the product that started at zero. So we know we can ignore that negative number because physically a negative concentration doesn't have any meaning. So it has to be the positive answer that we're looking for. And we're going to take that positive answer for x and substitute that back into the equilibrium row of the ice chart to find each concentration. That's going to give us the concentration of the reactant is 0.5 minus x. 0.5 minus x is 0.4978 and the units are molarity. The product is 2x and that is going to be 4.34 times 10 to the negative 3 molar.